Global temperatures are rising. Heat waves are becoming more common. A White House report that says global warming threatens every part of the U.S. Sea levels could rise 10 times faster than previously predicted. I mean, we're talking 10 feet by 2065. Almost all scientists agree man-made greenhouse gas emissions are a significant cause. 97% endorsed the position that humans are causing global warming. There was once a species that existed for roughly 200,000 years. This species lived to destroy its environment for the purpose of creating careers. It deemed itself as intelligent, and it labelled its actions as innovation, but the planet it lived on was finite, and so eventually it used up all of its resources and led itself to its own extinction. It may sound outlandish to you, but I'm referring this speech to the human race. See, we as a species have grown in numbers by 51% in the past three decades. And along with this, we've increased the terrain of cities and adopted new improved mechanics. Of course, we've made many industrial upgrades, but with that, we're killing ourselves and our planet. We're the only species on Earth that has access to an impeccable imagination. And because of this, we've created tech that can take us to pretty much any destination. Here in the 21st century, we have magnificent power. For the first time ever can we step on a plane and travel the globe within 24 hours. We've developed life-saving medicines. We've created personable anthropomorphic automatons. We've reached the depths of the oceans, traveled to space and left at stations. We've exceeded expectations. We've maintained civilized societies. We've eradicated and improved our negative habits. We invented the light bulb, we put light in darkness, we've walked the moon and estimated the existence of 100 sextillion planets. No doubt we've achieved greatness, but the question remains, can we actually save us? Can we slow down? Can we turn this ship around? Can we save us from ourselves? Rising sea levels and forest fires, heat waves along with change in weather, floods, droughts, melted polar ice caps, there's just more than ever. One and a half million animal species, 950,000 species of insects. Due to us, these numbers are decreasing. And the sad truth is that although us humans are the victims too, we're mostly the suspects. See here in this place we call Great Britain, it's where the industrial revolution started. Back then we had our eyes on the prize, but we didn't seem to have considered the consequences. Elders would say it was the start of opportunity, but right now it's looking like the start of the end, because that revolution caused us to exploit our environment and also our animal friends. Nowadays it seems all people are concerned about is following stupid trends, because this system, society and the mainstream media has socially conditioned us to chase what's defective. We've been taught to prioritize superficiality over what's real and over the collective, we're propagandized to believe that image and status is more important than ethics and morals. To ignore what really matters and instead worship false role models. What are we doing? Is this really what it's about? To conform, be ignorant, obedient and wait for our demise? To play the game? Build houses on sand? Are we really here to follow a system that's based on lies? The moral is that rapid growth that's not green nor sustainable can't ever be deemed as innovation. It's common sense now that we as a species need to start coexisting with nature. This is the only solution. The future lies with my generation.